Good evening, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, we celebrate the memorial of St. Charles Borromeo, this 31st week in ordinary time. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions. For the thanksgiving of Febi Paharilaga, Simon Samson, Lito and Lori Zapanta and family, Vic and Del David and family, Marlon, Joyce, and Ira Takdol. For the birthday thanksgiving of Ralph Jason Esguera, Bern Cruz. For the special intentions of Ricardo De Leon, Ted and Jovi Monasterio, Socrates Bingayan and family, Amor and Carmelita Bautista and family, Arman and Mariet Nang, Herminio Lynette Nocum and family, Rosanna Reyes, Jimmy and Indai Santo Domingo, Joy Espino and family, Phil and Janet Castro and family, Sophie Yap, Bobby and Zurai Camelo and family, Nicolo Pineda, Eleanor Ventura, Rose Capati, Mark Homer Munoz, Leticia Wu and family, Maria Maida Luta, Patrick and Sarah Goenko, Bernie and Baby Hanson and family. For the healing, speedy recovery and good health of Geraldine Zapanta, Adrian Del Ayan Alfonso, Arlene Quizon, Jennifer Manarang Canlas, Eloisa Tongol, Estrella Borja Fabian, Fe Kailao, Eler Vitug, Almario Claudio, Laila Capulong Manluta, Dr. Agnes Salvador, Zenaida Tanorin, Orlando Castro, Mylene Salamat Severano, Gloria Pandilio, Ernesto Dizon, and those whom we pray for healing. For the eternal repose of the souls of Escuela and Federico Salzad, Judith Feliciano, Lamberto, Leonora, Lota, Alan, Efren, and Oyang, Fernando Santos, Feliciano and Vicenta Angeles, Martin Angeles, Nomeriano, Adela, and Victoriano Dunca, Higinia and Herman David, Purificacion and Hedirberto Gueco, Maxima Robistiono, Araceli and Theodora, Felixiano and Rosita Janisho, Nicolas Tayag, Lillian Limson, Mercedita Pascual Ramos, Alejo and Maria Santos, Democrito Ison, Miriam and Mai Gonzalez, Gonzalo and Francesca Ison, Leslie Sichon, Domingo and Epifania Santos, Susana Sochu, Manuel Vicente and Magdalena, Mercedes Pachag, Cecilio Mantes, Melquiades and Leticia Basilio, Cecilio Polanco Jr., Maria Teresa Morales, Rodolfo Angeles, Dr. Alberto Chicuanco, Ponciano and Maria Gomez, Luciana Olalia, Merilu Valerio Soriano, Felisa Soriano, Ricardo Martin Sr., Priscilla Bognot Dizon, Sharon Galang Balonso de Guzman, Alejandro and Milagros Resurrection, Roberto M. Brazon, Roy Hilario, Pastor and Victoria Dunca, Nino Nagyat, Attorney Dante David, Eli Tiger Lagman, Paolo Lagman, Ricardo and Lucia Pasion, Vicente and Ellen Tantamco, Loreto Martin Pablo, Anthony Pablo, Gerardo Martin, Alfredo Capati, Magno and Francesca Hippolito, Alex Resurrection, and our poor souls in purgatory.
Let us all rise to glorify the Lord by singing our entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good evening, po. Good evening, po, Amo. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Charles Borromeo, a bishop, a man who contributed so much into the formation of priest. That's why we have a seminary under his name, San Carlos Seminary. It's under Saint Charles of Borromeo. He also defended our faith during the crisis in the Renaissance with the Protestant, with Saint Ignatius. Let us pray through the grace of Saint Charles that he will also continue to help us to make our church better, organize ourselves better in their guidance and prayers. For the times that we have sinned, we ask the Lord for pardon. Together we pray. I, I confess. confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Please remember your prayers. Call to mind our intentions in this Mass. Preserved in the midst of your people, O Lord, the spirit with which you filled Bishop St. Charles Borromeo, that your church may be constantly renewed and by conforming herself to the likeness of Christ may show his face to the world, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, none of us lives for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. Why then do you judge your brother or sister? Or you, why do you look down on your brother or sister? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of God, for it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bend before me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then, each of us shall give an account of himself to God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord is my light 
and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Let us all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. to me all who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus, but the Pharisees and the scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus addressed this parable to them. What man among you having a hundred sheep and losing one of them would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy. And upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost ship. I tell you in the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than 99 righteous people who do not need repentance. Or what woman having 10 coins and losing one would not light the lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it? And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, I have found my coin that is lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The great feasts in heaven. Ano ang pinagpipiestahan ng langit? Tayo may piesta tayo sa parokya. May piesta yung mga barangay, chapels. May piesta ang mga malalaking uh, simbahan. Ano kaya ang pinagpipiestahan sa langit? 
what would be a feast day in a angel uh, in a in heaven usually nararanasan natin yung nawawalan nawawalan ng wallet nawawalan ng cellphone nawawalan ng relo nangyayari po yan minsan na misplace lang talaga hindi naman talaga nawawala naalala ko yung isang lola nawawala ang kanyang wallet sabi niya sa mga anak niya apo niya pinapagalitan nila kaya pala hindi naintindihan ng mga bata sabi ng matanda hanapin ninyo hanapin ninyo hanapin ninyo ang aking wallet pag di nyo nakita, makikita ninyo. <laughs> Ang gusto sabihin ni Lola, parang nakaka, nakakalito. No? I think, there are times that we lose things. But sometimes, yung hinahanap natin, nandyan lang. Halimbawa, hinahanap ko yung salamin ko. Minsan, sinas- nandyan pala sa taas, di ba? <laughs> Minsan, naghahanap ako ng face mask. Nakababa lang pala dito, nagdalang face mask na ako. Para tumatanda na tayo by that time. Meron ding uh, sa panahon natin ngayon, sa panahon ng pandemya, marami rin yung nawawalan ng kabuhayan. Kaya kapampangan, mawawalan lang panakitan, mawawalan lang kabiyayan, mawalan lang obra, nawalan ng trabaho, nawalan ng kabuhayan. Mas mahirap po ito. Ito pa po yung mas mahirap, yung nawawalan ng pag-asa o mawawalan lang si Kanlub. Ito po yung nakakatakot pag nawawala na sila sa kanilang sarili when they begin to lose themselves, their own psychological and even mental health. Meron po isang Filipina at the peak of our pandemic She was stranded. She was working for a cruise. Yung cruise, yung mga malalaking barko. She really wanted to go home. Eh, naka-quarantine po sila sa barko. Yung inisip niya, gusto niya talaga makauwi. She felt in prison. Nawalan po ng kanyang sarili. Nawalan ng buhay. She committed suicide in the ship. May walan niyang biya. A mother waiting for a bus for five days by the footbridge at Pasay. This happened last year. And that single mother was going to Catanduanes Sur. At hindi siya makakita ng bus papunta sa Catanduanes until she died, waiting. Waiting for her to go home. When we seek, sometimes we attribute it to our effort. Ako ang nagahanap. Nagahanap ako ng trabaho, Naghahanap ako ng kabuhayan, kapanintunan. Even in Luke chapter 11, verse 9, man six, it is about human effort. And so I say to you, ask, and you will be given sick, and you will find knock, and the door will be open. I seek, ako yung manintun, ako yung men gobra, ang aking hanap buhay, kabiyayan, kanakong panakitan, Pamanintunan, kapanintunan, all of these are the same terms of seeking, finding. It's about my effort. Ako ing menintunan, I. Ako ing menakitan, I earn this. Ako ing menintun, ako ing menakit. Pipagalang kuiti, this is my effort. Penakitan kuiti, this is my income. With this kind of attitude, my effort, my hard work, there is the possibility of being entitled. Ako, pinagpaguran ko. There is this unnecessary pride in celebration, the human endeavor and excellence. Which for us, there is nothing wrong to celebrate our effort and our own victory. I found what I was looking for. However, in Genesis 3 verse 7, It is God who seeks. Pwede rin pala ang Diyos ang naghahanap. 
Sabi ng Diyos, nung nagkasala si Adan at si Eva, nagtago sila out of their guilt. Sabi ng Diyos sa Garden of Eden, Where are you? God graciously seeks the guilty sinner. Even in Genesis, God also already is looking for the lost humanity. After Adam and Eve sinned, they were hiding because of their guilt as God was still looking for them, searching for them. Where are you, God-seeking man? There is hope for redemption. Ang ginuyang magdulap kaya ka, ang ginuyang manintun, the gospel the same way teaches us, ang mawawalang tupa, ang mawawalang barya, the lost coin, if you push this farther in Luke 15, the next part is also the parable of the lost son, ing mawawalang anak. Where is the great feast here? Nasa ng malaking piyesta. Ngayon, piyesta ni San Bor- Borromeo, Charles Borromeo. Pero in real gospel celebration, ano pag pinagpipiyestahan ng langit? Isang santo, dalawang santo, ang kabanalan ng isang tao. Nandito po sa Ebanghelyo. The great feast in heaven, ing pagpiesta ng banwa. Tara, magsayata mo. Ing may walang bariyang pilak, may yakit ya. Ing may walang tupa, may yakit yun. Ing anak, abulagsak, may yakit yun. Therefore, it is like a refrain in an old song. In the same lines, when the lost coin and the lost ship, even the lost son, there's this rejoicing, he says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost ship. I tell you even the same way, there will be rejoicing. There will be feasting. May piesta sa langit. Pag yung isang taong nawawala sa kasalanan ay nagbabalik at nakikita. More than those who are righteous na hindi na kailangan magbalik loob sa Diyos. The same way in the lost coin, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost coin. The same way I told you there will be rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Kahit wala po sa Evangelio, I'll push it farther. The lost son. Bring the fatted calf. Kill it. Let us eat and celebrate. For my son is dead. Now he is alive again. He was lost. And now he is found. Rejoice with me, my son. It is fitting to celebrate and we shall be God that your brother was dead and now is alive. He was lost and now is found. Pwede pong nawawala ang wallet, nawawala ang kabuhayan, nawawala ang pera, pero mas mahirap pag ikaw ang nawawala sa landas. Ikaw ang nawawala dahil sa kasalanan. Ikaw ay nagwawala dahil sa ating mga pagkakasala. Ano ang pinagpipiyasahan ng langit? Ang mga banal? Ang mga mabubuting tao? Opo. Pero mas malaking pinagpipiyasahan ng langit, the real celebration also in the gospel, like a refrain, when one is lost and is found. Share my joy. Tara, magsaya tamo. In the song Amazing Grace, there is this line which is quite enigmatic. Di ba, kunyari, nawala ka, tapos you will find your way back, di ba? Limbawa, nawala ka sa Manila, tapos with your own ways, with your own style, ka, you will find your way back. Pag nawala ka, tapos magtanong-tanong ka, makakabalik ka. Ganun yun eh. It's my effort, kaya I found my way back. But in the song, Amazing Grace, it says, I was lost, and now I'm found. 
Look at that line. Pinag-isipan talaga. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. For once I was lost, but now I'm found. Ako ay nakita. Ako ay nawala. Ako ay hinanap. It's not my best effort. Ako ay nakapagbalik hindi dahil lang sa akin. Ako ay nandito muli hindi dahil sa aking sariling kakayahan o sa aking galing o sa aking pinagpaguran. It is si God who reached out to find me. A God's effort and love and care to reach out to save. What an amazing grace. Minsan po, nagpunta po ako sa uh, retreat house ng mga madre. Yung retreat house ng mga madre, ang kanilang kongregasyon, Good Shepherd Sisters. Ito po mga Good Shepherd Sisters, hindi ko po sasabihin kung saan. Meron po silang another house near the retreat house. Doon po, yung mga women who were seeking to go back to their life. Kung minsan they were abused o minsan sila mismo naka, nakapasok sa drugs o sila mismo they had this unwanted pregnancy or nagkaroon sila ng mahirap na sitwasyon sa, sa buhay nila. And the sisters, the Good Shepherd sisters, they take care of these women so that they can go back to their life go back to their normal life. And, and then while I was giving retreat to the sisters in another convent, I was invited to celebrate Mass for this community in the other side. Alam niyo po, mayroon silang image ng Good Shepherd. Hindi po yung Good Shepherd na dating Good Shepherd natin, di ba yung hawak-hawak yung tupa nandito sa kanyang shoulders, di ba? Yung rejoicing, rejoicing. Come, rejoice with me. I found my ship. It's lost. Now it's found. Di ba? Nandiyan na yung Good Shepherd. Pero yung image silang Good Shepherd, hindi po ganun. Nasa likuran ko, habang nagmimisa ko, tinitignan-tignan ko, yung Good Shepherd, nakasabit sa bangin. Nakasabit sa bangin. May hawak na halaman na malit. And then he was reaching out to the lost ship. Hindi lang palawad na wala yung tupa. At least from the artist's perspective. Yung tupa nahulog sa, sa bangin, nakasabit dun sa cliff, and the shepherd it risks his own life. Tinaya na kanyang buhay. And he was reaching out. Not only to find the lost ship, even to save the lost ship. Now we understand. When we have friends, family members, even our community, whom we may feel they may be lost, let us not wait for the time that they will find themselves back. Let us be good shepherds too. Or that woman in the gospel searching for the lost coin. Let us look for them, invite them, reach out to them. We may take the risk but it's all worth it because that is the basic story of our Christian life. A few days ago, mayroon po isang nawalang bata sa Australia, particular in Perth, Australia. Ang pangalan ng bata, Cleo Smith. Cleo, four years old. Nagcamping po sila, mga pamilya nila, Nasa campsite po sila, four years old. Biglang nawala itong bata. And she was lost for 18 days. Ang mga kapulisan, mga volunteers, different communities, they were searching kasi yung campsite nila parang forested. Talagang hinagudkod po lahat ang lugar. They covered hundreds of hectares of land. Talagang hinanap po nila. Her disappearance triggered a massive police search that initially covered several square kilometers around the site and later extended into nationwide as alerts 
were issued on a sighting of the lost girl. Alam niyo po, I think two days ago, Cleo was found locked in a room in a house with the efforts of good police and community. She was kidnapped or taken by another person. And everybody was crying, not only the mother, but all those who were part of the search. Isn't that wonderful? It was not only one good shepherd looking for the lost girl. It was the whole community, the police, the community, the churches, the families, and the neighbors, and everybody were searching for one lost girl. And when she was found, it was like heaven celebrating, finding one girl. The girl was found not because of her efforts, not because of her own capacity to find herself back. She was too weak to do that. And yet, the great efforts to find her, the search which was with, with much love and care, as she was found because there was so much desire not to lose one among them. This is an analogy of the great feast in heaven. Parang malaking piyesta ng langit. Pag isa sa ating nawawala, ay nakikita at nakakapagbalik sa ating pamilya, sa pamilya ng Diyos. May God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all rise. The community of Jesus' disciples is marked by the concern for the lost ship and the lost coin. Let us pray that we may be the heart of Jesus who goes to seek the stray and the lost. For every prayer we shall answer, Lord, let us rejoice in our salvation. Lord, let us rejoice in our salvation. May the church preach the primacy of mercy over strict justice and obedience to laws and ordinances, we pray. Lord, let us rejoice in your salvation. May church and political leaders seek greatness not in power and fame, but in humble service to the little ones in the world, we pray. Lord, let us rejoice in your salvation. May we welcome and serve Christ in the many manifestations of the little ones, the humble and the poor, the malnourished, the stray, and the lost, we pray. Lord, let us rejoice in your salvation. May we welcome with joy the lost and the stray who have returned instead of reminding them of old wounds, not giving the opportunity for this to heal, we pray. Lord, let us rejoice in your salvation. May the 99 who did not stray thank the Lord for the safety of his fold, for the tranquility of their conscience and the assurance of his love, we pray. Lord, let us rejoice in your salvation. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. Lord God, we are keepers of each other, responsible for our brothers and sisters. May we rejoice as responsible for each other and gather us to the joy of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist.
Pray, my dear friends, that this sacrifice may be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the offerings placed upon your altar in commemoration of St. Charles and greet and grant that the power of this sacrifice that as you made him attentive pastor, outstanding in the merit of his virtues, so may make us abound in the good fruit of, yours, of our work. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us, your festival of St. Charles Borromeo, that your church rejoice. So too, strengthened by the example of his holy life, teach your church by his works of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with all the company of saints and angels, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy their forest gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the known eternal covenant, it will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim our death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Florentino, our Bishop, and all the priests, and all our friends who celebrate faith with you, especially those who help us and support us in our parish at the Holy Cross. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. 
and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, together we pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The love, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us share with one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace Lamb be with you. of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. I love you and desire to receive you in Holy Communion. At this moment, I cannot receive you in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Come then spiritually and dwell in my heart. I embrace you and unite myself totally to you. May I never be separated from you. Amen.
prayer for the person suffering from the coronavirus. Merciful God, hear our fervent prayer for all who suffer from the coronavirus. May those who are infected receive the proper treatment and the comfort of your healing presence. May their caregivers, families, and neighbors be shielded from the outslot on the virus. Give solace to those who grieve the loss of the loved ones. Protect and guide those who strive to find a cure, that their work may conquer the disease and restore communities to wholeness and health. Help us to rise above fear. We, all, we ask all this through the intercession of our Lord, Lady of Lords, in the name of your Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us all rise. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, give us the ter determination which made St. Charles faithful in ministry and fervent in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we continue our novena prayers for our dearly departed, our ala-alay, we offer this prayer of petition to our departed brothers and sisters and to those who have no one to pray for them. Merciful Father, hear our prayer and console us as we renew our faith in your Son, whom you have raised from the dead, strengthen our hope that all who of our departed brothers and sisters, especially those who have no one to pray for them, will find the share in his resurrection and mercy to their sins, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us who has did this into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and they are for death. Glory Amen. be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be word without an Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let the perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you, your loved ones and family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is offered. Let us be one in the feast and celebration of heaven when a brother or sister will be found in God's mercy. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.